Te- Devin Haney. Devin Haney's the top guy. You got him over Tio and everybody. Tio's at 142? Absolutely. He he just beat Josh Taylor. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He got that's the right. lineal, he got the lineal belt. Oh, I didn't I, I know he beat Josh, but I didn't know it was at 140. Yep. I mean, I got to go right now. I think the best right now in 140 is Devin. Mm. Mm. What do you, what do you, what, why do you, uh, per se say that? Uh, you know, uh, how easily he beat Regis. You and believe Regis was the top guy? I, I have always had high, I've always thought highly of Regis. Okay. I've, I've always thought highly of Regis. And when I seen that, how easy Devin beat him, I was like, damn. Hmm. Okay. E- even even Teal, he he actually made uh, Josh Taylor look pretty easy as well. Oh yeah, he, that was like walk. Yeah, that, he did beat him. He did. But you know, him beating Josh, not too many people were surprised he beat Josh. Hmm. Really? I yeah, thought I, I, I thought that. He, well, you know, you did. I remember interviewing. I know you had Teal. But you yeah, had Teal. Yeah. You you weren't you weren't not a lot of people were were saying that though. Right. I thought. I mean, I, I just didn't think Josh could beat Teal at 35, 40, 45, 50. Hey, I mean, you know, I mean, Teal can fight, man. He Teal's the real deal. And, and you've been you've been hearing about this uh, Subriel Matias lately. Now, that's a beast. That's that guy's a beast. He is definitely. Definitely someone you gotta look out for. It seems scary. I had a guy, God bless, God bless Max, Max Dadishan, but Max fought him. That was the kid Max fought when he pat when he when he died. Correct. That guy's a beast, man. He's a beast, man. He he is. I mean, and I know it's funny when 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 they showed me a tape of him. Max sent me a vid tape of him when Max was getting ready to fight him. I said this this guy's a fucking beast. I said that then. I mean, and now he's just showing it more and more each fight. So I mean, and I, I I don't I don't think no one's gonna I think no one's gonna fight him, man. You don't see nobody mentioning him. No. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I mean nobody wants to fight him, man. His name does not come out of nobody's mouth. Not one person's called him out. That's right. <laughs> I mean that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, man, he's a he's a killer, man. I've I've been putting his name out there for quite some time now, uh, letting people know about him, and um, you know, literally a killer for sure. And, and rest in peace to you said Max. Yeah, he's a beast, man. Yeah, I mean Max. When Max came to the corner, Max said, "Yeah, his punches hurt." I mean, when when you were preparing uh, Max for uh, Subed. You know, what was the main thing with game plan and, 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 and what just went out the window? He was too strong, man. He was just too strong. Max couldn't keep him off of him. Okay. I mean, he was just too strong. I mean, he's he's just, I mean, he's that guy, man. He's that guy. Like, when he's coming forward, Jack, I mean, you know, he, just, he was too strong. Max told me, I mean, uh, he said, buddy, the guy is too strong. I mean, so, so when your fighter's telling you that, you're like, okay, well, we got to find a way. If not, I'm going to stop the fight, you know. But the guy, man, was just, he was, each round, put on the gas more and more. And I was like, damn. I mean, so he's definitely that guy you got to look out for. And, and what round did you stop that at? I don't remember, to be honest. I think it was ninth, 10th. I'm not sure. Late, right? Yeah. So, I mean, as far as like that, because that was a wild story that that people heard, like, and people were wondering with with the brain trauma and stuff like that, and passings of boxers, people wonder why it doesn't ha- happen right away, and it it happened after, like when he was in the hospital, correct? Right. So was he absolutely normal, coach, after the fight, or was it was he a little bit? No, you know when I stopped when I stopped the fight. Um, they had no, they, the ambulance didn't have a, a stretcher by ringside. He had to walk to get on the stretcher. And people saying that's what, because he started throwing up. 
And this doctor looked at me and said, that's not a good sign, buddy. When a guy's throwing up like that, that's not a good sign. Whoa, really? Yeah, his doctor told me, because the uh, doctor looked at me and goes, buddy, that's not a good sign. He's throwing up. It's not a good sign. Wow. Yeah. That's, so that's a sign of, of, of possibly. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, what what had happened, Coach, after, like? After he went to the hospital and he never came out of it. You know, there. You know, I've gotten. I had gotten phone calls saying that he uh, had a previous injury. So people were telling me, but I, I, I'll never know the truth. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what to believe, what not to believe. Right. You know what I mean, so, I mean, you know, this is crazy business, man. So, you know, it's it's just a matter of, uh, you know. I mean, you just got to know your fighter and you got to know when to pull the plug if, if things are, are not going well in the fight. And, and do you feel like that that was the right time? Oh, yeah. He didn't want me to stop it. But I knew, you know, I knew in my mind that I was stopping it when he came back to the corner. I asked him out of respect. I said, listen, I, you know, I'm going to stop. And he's like, no, no, no. But my mind was made up that I was stopping it. Well, like... So did you did you see it like towards like the sixth round that you already had thoughts of it? Like what when when was yeah, the round round seven? I was like, I'm gonna stop this. And because, he refused. Yeah, but because nothing Max hit even made him blink. Oh, so he got a hell of a chin. And you can see him getting stronger and stronger as the fight was going on. So it's like shit. You know? Who who does he remind you of, coach? It's hard to say, man. Um, I can't offhand right now. I can't think. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, uh, I can't. It's hard to because I haven't seen a guy put pressure like that constantly in a long time. So, the is it is it the punch? Is it the punching power as well with the, the with the pressure, or is it more the volume and the pressure? It's a little bit of everything. It's the volume, bit. the punching power. His, his hands are heavy. Yeah, he's very heavy-handed. He's very strong. You can look at him and tell he's strong, man. You know what I mean? And he's a big 40-pounder. Yeah. And he's a big 40-pounder. So, so you know, man, I wish him well. You know, I hope he gets that opportunity to fight for the title. He deserves it. Well, he has the IBF. Oh, he does? Oh, he's got the IBF title. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, okay. he's a champion. He's a, he's a champion. That's well, why. Well, then I when think you, he's, when you said he, he deserves was, a mega fight. Then he deserves a mega fight. Right, right, right. Because when you said, um, when you said, "Hey, like they're not gonna want to fight him," he's even champion, and they, you know, people are not. They're, sent, they're saying that. that they're gonna send offers, but this, you know, he just got a hand injury right now. You know, right. So he'll be back, but um, you know, now there's a lot of fights being took in place. Uh, cause people can't just wait on other people for injuries, right? Nah. So, um, so now that being said, you still believe Devin Haney over Subriad? Oh yeah. I, I, I'm still going with Devin. 